Good evening, I'm meteorologist Amanda Pappas, coming to you live from the NCSU Weather Center on this fine evening. Right now we're a little chilly, so if you are headed out tonight, we are definitely going to need a jacket because it's going to be 42 degrees out there. And it's going to be mostly cloudy, so that's definitely going to keep things cooler. And we do have some light winds coming out of the southwest at about 5 miles per hour, so it will be a chillier evening. And we start off our morning in a similar way. So we're at 41 degrees by tomorrow morning. So as the kiddos head to the bus stop, make sure they do have a thicker jacket on because you're going to see a lot of cloud cover and a lot of fog even tomorrow. There is going to be a warning for fog as well. And our temperature is just going to be chilly. But as we move into the later parts of the afternoon, when the kids get back home from school, they're definitely going to be taking off those heavier jackets because our temperature jumps up to warm 57 degrees. Finally, we're going to get those warmer temperatures and a lot of those clouds and miserable weather is going to finally clear out by tomorrow more, uh, tomorrow afternoon. And you can just see, so right here, we're starting off pretty cloudy at 8 a.m. and then we start to creep upwards. By 12 p.m. we're at 54 degrees and then by 2 we're actually at 57, our high for the day. Then we start to drop back down as we approach 6 p.m. when you are headed back home from your on your commute. The temperature is going to begin to drop and be at 49 degrees. It's definitely going to get chilly, and especially by 8 p.m., we're already at 45 degrees yet again. And also, that's because we do have a high-pressure system over us right now. High pressure is um, basically warm air that's sinking down, and that helps to produce very clear skies and that nicer weather. And Finally, we'll walk away from a lot of that miserable, depressing weather that we've seen in the past couple of days and some warmer temperatures. And that's all because of that high pressure system I pointed out here. But there is a possibility that, you know, we actually might have some rain for this weekend. And that's due to this bundle of low pressure systems that you can see on the western and midwestern parts of the country. It is going to bring us that potential to ruin the weekend a little bit. And we definitely might see a couple of spotty showers or storms on Friday and Saturday. Right now you can see our satellite imagery. You see a bunch of the beautiful lights in the Raleigh area right here. And you do see some clouds, but those clouds will begin to move offshore and clear out because of that high pressure system I spoke of earlier. And for the rest of your week, we actually have a nice sunny start and the temperature definitely getting warmer as we approach the later parts of the week. But we do start off with a warm 60 degrees on Wednesday. As we move into Thursday, it drops down a little bit, but we do maintain a lot of that sunshine finally. But we are back to a wetter pattern of weather and just that miserable kind of depressing weather by Friday and Saturday. We do have a 70% chance of rain um, as our rain potential for Saturday. 